Hey everybody, it's Mandy Webkins and it's June 17th and I am here, of course, with Michael Webkins. Hey Mandy. Hey and Michael, we have a special guest. It's our friend yeah. Michelle. Hello. Hi Michelle. So you know what, Michelle is our e-store expert and <laughs> maybe you can tell us where we might expect to see my outfit, which is adorable if it I is. do say so It's myself. ooey gooey delightful. <laughs> it's the uh, s'mores costume. June, yes. and you'll be able to find that in the summer mystery clothing bag. Oh, mystery bags are so much fun. Yes, yeah, so you Looks know Looks delicious. I know. I, I love this outfit. So let's jump right into checking out our Webkin's Trends. So this is cute. This is kind Aww. of a St. Patrick's Day one, but it's perfect any time of year because it's so adorable. And, and this bunny's name is Clover, so they don't need a special occasion to wear Clovers. Yeah, so cute. What a what a subtle uh, dress. I just really, I mean, it doesn't like scream St. Patrick's Day, you know, but there's just these really nice little four-leaf Clover highlights around, and it, it looks like actually an outfit that you could wear any time of year, actually. It's really cute. Yes, and the green is nice and bright and fresh, and everything goes together so nicely. Yeah, and I, I love those floppy eared bunnies. And so, yeah, this is so cute. Look at Lala's dress. Look time. at how that headband is almost the exact same color as the floppy bunnies um, fur. So it really blends right in and really oh, makes yeah. that clover stand out. Yeah, really cute. cute. It looks like it's just been munching on some clover and got one stuck on its head. <laughs> So these are more of our spring clothing line pieces, which I just love. And they seem to be really popular. This is Coco Spring Outfit by Baba Shuka. So very cute. And I think with the yellow pet, it works really nicely. Yes, this one's great. You know what? There's a little bit of mix of casual and chic going on here, I think, because maybe yeah. they're just off to yoga class or something like that. But I think the, the glasses and the hat really add a level of sophistication, sophistication yeah, they to this threw outfit. threw on yeah. a beret just to up their, uh, their fashion ante. Yeah, I love how there's the hints of the florals in the shirt and in the hat, and then like the hints of the pink in the laces and the hat and the stripe along the, the pants. You wouldn't really notice it right away, but then when you're looking at the whole outfit together, it works perfectly. Oh, it works so well. I love it. Great pet, too. Is that the Chihuahua? Chihuahua? It, Michelle. <laughs> I that... think so. I yeah. think it's one of our classic original ones. Now, this <laughs> this is awesome. This is adorable. This is Colgate Prefers Chocolate by Elish. And so I, you know, I'm guessing those are chocolate eggs. So I think it prefers chocolate to maybe eating other Webkins is what I'm guessing <laughs> because it's a shark. Exactly. How do you make a shark friendlier? Put it in these glasses and that hat. And I love the name Colgate with the teeth. <gasps> yeah. And then such a funny name. Now, I'm not sure, but I believe that those are spring celebration products. Is just the headband there and the glasses. I think the headband we gave away as a spring celebration login gift in the past, and maybe the glasses you could get um, by feeding your pet a chocolate egg. I think they've been around for a few years, but yeah. they're so funny. And uh, yeah, as you say, the teeth are just so cute. Little goofy little pet, and look how much goofier he looks with those glasses. So yeah. funny. Really Not cool. Not too scary, the no. shark and Webkins. Really cute. Now, this is oh, wow. an elegant hibiscus flower outfit by Coco Beanies. And I love this. I'm not sure that the dress was meant to be a flower, but it looks like petals. Maybe Michelle knows what it is, or not yes. to put you on the spot. <laughs> no, this <laughs> like one I know. Do. This one is the hibiscus oh, dress. Is it's it? meant okay. to be a flower. It goes with our flower beds, and yeah. then there's the dresses that go with it. And But the shoes and the bow aren't designed to match the dress, but they look so good. They do. Like, if you notice, there are hints of red and yellow and orange and pink in the dress, and so it's like uh, Coco Beanie's pulled out those colors and used them to accessorize. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that bow and the glasses are just available from the uh, Kinstall outlet on webkins.com. So there you go. And um, yeah, just so cute. And of course, you know, the black pet there really makes those pieces really stand out and almost look like they're um, fiery hot or something like that. Really, really cool. Yeah, really nice contrast. Oh, wow. Now, this is cute. This is Hope wearing latest spree fashion by It's Web Mom. And now, is that a new dress? Because I feel like I've seen it recently. 
Does I anyone really know? like that dress, I, but I don't know where it's from. Yeah, I, I think it could have been one of the third party promotions that we did. So uh, when we promoted the movie, what was the movie? Is it In and Out or something? What was that Disney movie that we did? Inside where, Out. Inside I, I Out. Don't, I don't think this is from Inside okay. Out. Unless, well, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not wrong. sure, but um, yeah, we're always. Sometimes. Everybody tell us because you all yeah, know there better you go. than we Leave do. It. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I was just going to say, this is such a cool outfit. So casual. I could see them maybe, um, you know, hanging out in a cafe with a laptop or something and working definitely. on some sort of story or something. But this this pet definitely looks hip. Yeah, right, Michelle? and the slouchy <laughs> yeah. hat with that dress. I'm not sure shoes. where those glasses are from. I, probably from a past clothing line, but um, they work perfectly here. Well, they say it's from Spree, but... Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. But, but are there clothes on Spree? I don't play... Yeah, I, well, I okay, the latest Spree... Actually, for, you know what? This makes complete uh, sense. Sorry, scratch what I just said, because... <laughs> Okay, I, I should read the, the title properly and listen. But um, no, so we recently updated the Spree shopping bags. So oh, you know in the game of Spree when you collect yeah. all those five colored shopping bags, you can trade it in for a bag which you drag and drop into your room. And then you used to get one of those street tiles and yeah. street signs. But just recently we updated them. So now every time you add it to your or drag it into your room, you're going to be awarded a clothing piece and a special piece of mall food, which is really neat. We actually recently posted an article about that on Webkin's News and you also get a bonus roll. But yeah, so these must be the latest uh, spree fashions that you can get from your shopping bag, and they look great. Yep, and that is really good information to know because even though I religiously read 90% of your no. articles, Michael, <laughs> sometimes I miss one, so. Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is Jaren's in her Zen gardening robe by Adantons. Adantons. So, this, of course, is the kimono robe that you got during the recent bake sale. And I can't remember yeah. what you combined to get it, but no. I, I do love this kimono robe. And with those, what are they called? Those shoes. I'm thinking. I'm not sure. They're sandals from the uh, yeah. console, I believe. But those those news blogger glasses, I think you can pick up uh, with your Gans uh, rewards points and on Webkin's News. Is that the news. Zodiac headdress? Yeah, Michelle, but I love or? how they're oh. using it as a gardening outfit because it yeah. looks like you know they're really they've just cut a hedge or something and <laughs> some of the leaves have fallen into the hair there. But uh, and look at that, they've got a little helper. As a zum, yeah, so following them around, cute. helping them do some gardening, maybe cutting the uh, higher branches or something, or picking the flowers that are, are too far for the sheep to reach. Exactly, and I love that little cloud sheep. It's one of my favorites. It's so cute, and I like that the cloud sheep is so colorful and bright, and then there's sort of neutral tones on the outfit, which uh, makes the, the sheep even stand out more. Now, this is so uh -oh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Natty sends me a lot of great outfits and of course I do have a soft spot for pigs and this one is just adorable because I love the way that Natty's used those face stickers. The way that pink flower on the face sticker is positioned, it looks yeah. like a blob of paint. <laughs> It's so clever. Yeah, you know, those face stickers, they, they kind of are located in a different spot in each pet, but it is really cute how, how that shows up there. But they're using a lot of different items here. Those overalls actually are from Figure Prize. So we, we had these Webkins figures, and when you they each came with a feature code, and, and one of the feature codes you could use to unlock those overalls. But um, yeah, oops, I think the pig has had a little accident there. <laughs> but again, Natty's done a great job of managing to get colors that match right like the pink on the face sticker and the pink splatters on the trousers it's yeah. perfect what a creative outfit and yeah. i just gotta say that hat is <laughs> hysterical <laughs> and it on is. this pig it's just perfect it is it's adorable now this is another pink one but but this is a much tidier pet no. <laughs> So this is Pretty in Pink by Monkey Girl and just exactly what it says. It's so pretty. You know, I think that's the Coco Pup, which is a great plush and uh, a great Webkins. And I just love how when people combine those rich pinks with browns, because it almost gives it like a chocolatey candy sort of mm. feeling. And especially there's definitely hints of hearts in Valentine's Day. So it really works well with this pet, I think. And that barrette is so cute. I know. I love the way it's placed on the head. It's just really... Really yeah. Just available in the Kinstall outlet, I believe. So nice. there you go.
So this wow. I love. <laughs> now, I think this is a porcupine, is it, or is it a hedgehog? It is a hedgehog, oh, yes. And they are just so, <laughs> the Webkin's hedgehogs are so cute. And this is Spike's Changing the World outfit by DJH89. And again, like some really nice colors mixed in here. Just a whole bunch of different colors, but so bright and happy. Just beautiful. And I mean, it's interesting changing the world. This almost seems like an environmental outfit to me because I see the dresses, the water, and then of course the hedgehog's oh. hair looks like grass and flowers growing on, on top with the beautiful pinks to tie it all together. But uh, really, really uh, interesting outfit here. Yeah. And that bow belt, it just makes the whole skirt and top combination just look like a full outfit with that bow belt on the back there. Yeah, it's oh, really yeah. cute. I thought that was like, part of the dress, but there you go. I know, because it's sort of, when you sit there, it looks like it would be a bow tie, but then it's so pretty when you realize it's a sash. And Very also, nice. the glasses just make that hedgehog look fabulous. So this is our last one, Cute. and this is such a pretty one. It's The First Day of Summer by Moonkey1115. And I mean, it's so simple that uh, Moonkey's gone for really simple colors with the dress and the bow. And then of course those fabulous shoes have so many colors. And then the ribbon on the back, the dress and the coral glasses pick up the nice uh, contrasting shade in the shoes. Yeah, and I've seen this dress before, but I think on this pet, because you can see the bow on the back yeah. and the detail on the back, I really like how this pet wears the dress. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, you know, a lot of the detail um, in these clothing happen in the front and sometimes it's lost, as, as Michelle is saying, when it's in the room. But I love that, that yeah, that detail of the bow on the back and it ties so nicely into the headband. Yeah, and again, it's really nice that it's on this brown pup because yeah. it gives such a nice contrast. So great job, Moonkey1115. So you know what? Thank you so much to everybody who sent us a trend. And thank you so much, Michelle, for joining us. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mandy. So you know what, guys? If you want to send me your trends, send them to webkinstrends at gans.com. And we will see you next week.